pro info. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with the video, give it a thumbs up, brah. We have a couple of dope news items for this video, but the first one, the picture is coming more crystal clear. It's becoming more crystal clear. Further confirmation that a Switch Pro is happening and the OLED 7-inch screen that has been rumored, it looks like it's actually happening. Now, this article is coming from NintendoLife.com and according to YouTuber.Trey81, he has discovered a company PR press release titled Samsung initiates cons consumer branding for its OLED displays in 27 countries and this is the statement that has everyone's attention this is what Samsung is saying the company that's rumored to be making the new screens for the switch pro and I quote moving forward we intend to aggressively position Samsung OLED technology across promising market sectors that take us well beyond smartphones, including the laptop and notebook, IT, automotive, and gaming console segments. It's that last part, gaming console segments. What gaming console requires a screen right now? What, what, what? Play, PlayStation 5? Nope. Xbox Series L? I mean, S, X? No. The Nintendo Switch. And so, Samsung is looking to making screens for gaming consoles. Nintendo makes gaming consoles. It only makes sense unless PlayStation is about to surprise us with the PS Vita 2? Other than that, it's the Switch. So Samsung, they make great screens and everyone can say it's time for a Switch upgrade. I'm telling you, bro, I was playing 2K the other day, rough. Apex Legends, rough. And so it's more than time for Switch Pro info and your boy has you covered. Bro, the next news item we could be getting a long lost nintendo franchise madden it's not a nintendo franchise but it hasn't been on a nintendo platform in a decade bro fun fact my name ob1 on youtube how did i get my name my name begins with the o and I was the number one ranked Madden player on the Wii U, bro. The last time Nintendo had a console. So it was OB1. And so I just ran with the OB1 plays. The last time Nintendo had Madden was on the Wii U. I used to be on it heavy. Don't be on Madden as much as I used to. I'm more of a 2K guy now. But it looks like we could be getting Madden on the Switch. This is again from Dotray81 coming from DestroyToy.com. Based on the verbiage of a new job listing for a Madden developer, it looks like they are working on a Nintendo game. The listing mentions specifically Nintendo game consoles. And this usually isn't found in specific engineering positions unless they're in fact working on developing a game and this only makes sense, bro. To finally have Madden on the go again, a real Madden game, not the mobile game on the go. 
it makes sense to bring the platform back to the switch which is selling like crazy and so stay tuned for a map could this be a, a switch pro launch title it'll be easier to port it to the pro if the pro is rumored to have at least ps4 ps4 pro graphics because that's what madden is gonna bro one there's about two games three games sports games generally <laughs> after a next generation begins Sports games linger on for a long time in current gen. Madden, 2K, FIFA. Expect to see those games on the PS4 for at least the next three years. Um, because the user base is there and some people just don't upgrade because they just want to play their sports games. And so, Madden should be an easy port if they're going to continue to make ps4 versions xbox one versions of the game making a switch pro version is a no-brainer so madden has been discovered to be in development for the nintendo switch i'm in let's go i do a madden league every year for my sponsors join the dope gaming community we be lit bro all right bro what's even more hype than madden for me college football ncaa college football is returning that's already been confirmed but now it looks like we have a launch window all right this is coming via 247sports.com news according to internal documents from clc that was obtained via open records show a July 2023 release date for NCAA football. Bro, once this comes out, RIP Madden. I'm just gonna be on college football, bro. I'm a UF alumni. I love I like watching college football and I like playing college football more than playing Madden. So Madden, Madden, Madden coming to the switch college football looking to be coming to every single platform we don't know what platforms it hasn't been announced but july 2023 college football two years away though bro that's a good wow but at least we know it's coming next news item it looks like outriders outriders could be could be coming to game pass this is crazy this is coming from gamesradar.com according to game pass the official game pass account has tweeted out there's probably a hint about a game in here somewhere honestly we can't even keep up with all the announcements lately but the article is saying that um a new tease um, from this account is pointing to Outriders possibly coming to Game Pass. This is what it says. Right now, it says it's only a conjecture. The tweet, which includes a screenshot of a patently fake email from an Xbox employee called Melissa Game Pass, asks if anyone else has noticed a mysterious signal appearing in the distance lately, followed by, or am I the anomaly in the situation? References to Outriders causing um, uh, many to speculate that the game will be coming to Game Pass. Now, I haven't touched this game. I might eventually download this on my PS5, but people are telling me that the game seems a little, it seems like a generic destiny. Um time will tell to see how this game is it piques my interest the demo is available so i think the demo is still available so i might eventually download the demo give the game a try give it a spin but it looks like the game could be could be coming to game pass speaking of game pass last news item for the video we already know 20 bethesda games will be dropping on game pass this week but it looks like many of these games will get a frame rate boost on Xbox. We all know the Xbox architecture, it natively allows you to um, um, automatically boost the frame rate and resolution of certain games. And it looks like the Bethesda games will get that benefit from running on the next gen consoles. 
All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, I had a bro, and then I reset my software. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. All right, I'll see y'all later. We out. Peace.